So first, uh, we had this new NAFTA trade deal, replacing NAFTA between the US, Canada and Mexico, announced last night by Donald Trump. Are you relieved? Is that a relief given that Toyota has as many as 10 factories in the US? Yeah, I think, you know, from a Toyota point of view, we are pleased that there is an agreement uh, that has been reached. And uh, we will now have to see the detail of how it's going to unfold, but we are very pleased that uh, we could find a solution in the North American market. You employ as many as 140,000 people uh, in North America. Uh, even though you're relieved about this na new NAFTA deal, are you concerned about the impact of the trade war between the U.S. and China and the impact it may have on auto parts, for example? Well, you know, trade wars are never a good thing. Uh, it's always disruptive. So we, we would like to see and we hope that this agreement paves the way for some other agreements also to be reached so that we can get uh, stability again and a clear direction uh, into the future. But do you think this could lead to an increase in prices? Well, you know, where you have uh, protectionism, you, you find that there will be inefficient investments being made. It can happen. Uh, but as I've said, you know, when it comes to the agreement which has been reached now between uh, America, Mexico and Canada, we are very, very satisfied and uh, that it's happened and that there's a, a future now which we can all work together towards. Brexit is now just six months away. Brands like BMW or Jaguar Land Rover have decided to bring forward the one month maintenance of their UK plants to spring instead of next summer. What are you going to do uh, in, with Toyota in the UK? Well, you know, the big thing about Brexit short term, if there's a bad Brexit and uh, our logistics is based on just in time, if the just in time system is disrupted, then it can lead to the stoppage of production. Frankly speaking, it will lead to the stoppage of production. So therefore, we are evaluating all the time. And uh, of course, there's in October still a meeting, and then there's November still a meeting. So we still have some time to make up our minds what will happen. If there's no agreement, of course, we'll have to put some contingency plans in place so that we can bridge and overcome uh, any disruptions. Short term, that is the problem. Longer term is the bigger problem. Uh, if uh, we have disruptions and if it's a bad Brexit, of course, it can have a big impact on our competitiveness and then that will, of course, uh, have to be taken into account in terms of future investments and expansion of our business. How much do we invest currently in the UK and how much could you cut this uh, investment if we have a hard Brexit? Well, we've just invested £250 million uh, in, in the U UK in our operation there. And that is to improve uh, efficiencies and to improve competitiveness based on your new Toyota Global architecture. Uh, our investment is made to improve efficiencies. Um, we are trying our utmost best to improve the competitiveness of our plant there as much as possible uh, so that we can face uh, even a situation where we have a hard Brexit or a tough Brexit. But even with the improvement in our efficiencies, we will not be able to offset, for instance, tariffs as it would be improved, increased uh, on a WTO system. So uh, we are still confident that uh, agreement might be reached. Uh, we hope so. Uh, it's up to the politicians. Uh, and then once we know what the agreement is, of course, then we will start to change. But by the March next year, we need to know what we are going to change to because we have a bridge period of about two years. So if, if that is clear, then we can change. Right here on the Paris Car Show, you are showing the uh, Corolla Hybrid. That's the new uh, Toyota. Obviously, we're seeing the push in Europe for electric. There is no all electric here on the Toyota stand. But do you believe there's a bigger market uh, with all the difficulties that Tesla is uh, encountering at the moment? Well, if you look at the market, they always developing. Toyota believes in electrification. Well, uh, hybrid vehicles, we started 20 years ago. Here in Paris, we only show hybrid vehicles. We've got no conventional, just conventional technology engines on, on our uh, display. We truly believe the trend is there. The market for electrification is going to develop. 
we believe it's going to be battery electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles and fuel cells in the longer, longer term. So we are ready for these technologies. Uh, the trend is quite clear. Uh, we see what's happening in cities. Cities require clean air. They want to keep the uh, zero on emission Tesla, vehicles. On Tesla? When it comes to Tesla, you know, uh, they've been a, a groundbreaker. They led the way. I cannot comment in terms of their future strategies, but uh, electrification is going to happen.